Hello, I'm Pam Hansen, and I'm here with another little video today. Uh, you might notice a big change in my surroundings uh, from any previous videos I made. I'm not in the trailer any longer. I'm out in our backyard. We got back to Minnesota a couple weeks ago, uh, and uh, we are just getting back into the routine of being here and uh, enjoying our friends and family around here. You might hear Bob out here with me. He's this. I'm sitting on a new deck that he and a couple of friends uh, installed last fall, and then they ran out of time before the good uh, time and good weather to finish it. So he's working now on putting the railing all around, and then there are stairs that have to be installed also. So. Um, that's a, a good job if he can get that done and I'll be able to come out here and help him with some of that if he'll accept my help. So we have enjoyed this, very grateful for um, the chance to get away and travel some this winter. We went to some new places. Uh, we drove a lot of miles. We keep track of our mileage and, and our journeys in a um, journal that we write in together. And this year, we were gone for 107 days and we drove 9,000 miles and that's truck miles. The trailer is um, a little bit less than that because of it being parked in some places for a longer period of time. Um, just a few thoughts for you on how things went this winter. Um, starting out as in any, both this year and last year, when we're trying to leave here in really cold weather with snow and ice, uh, it's hard to get some of the stuff arranged that needs to be done to leave. Bob winterizes the trailer beforehand. And by winterizing, if you're not familiar with that, he drains the water out of the lines and the, the fresh water tank throughout the trailer and then puts in an antifreeze that's suitable for um, humans. It's not poisonous or anything. and we leave the antifreeze in there until it's warm enough to make sure that we are gonna have several consecutive nights of below freezing temperatures. So we travel with the trailer still winterized at first, and that means we are, we're sleeping in the trailer on the way to the warmth, but we can't use running water in there because he hasn't uh, cleared out the lines yet. And then we also like to stay in some place that has uh, an electrical plug-in for us so we can run the furnace and use the, the electric fan on that. The furnace runs on LP, but we need electricity for the fan and we need electricity for um, a few other things uh, that like a plug-in for Bob's CPAP machine at night and our electric blanket, which has been a lifesaver. If you've ever slept in a trailer or any place cold that has a foam top mattress on it, you might understand that the foam, when it gets cold, gets really hard. So having that electric blanket on the bed to turn on before we turn in for the night is wonderful because we don't have to use our body heat to warm up the mattress. And the other thing in, with traveling in the winter that we have learned is that they're up here in the upper Midwest, uh, either in, even down into Southern Nebraska, into Kansas, is still pretty cold and not a lot of campgrounds are open all, all year round here. We've um, been able to find twice, once a spot in a uh, casino that had legitimate campground with um, uh, electricity for us. And this year we found a spot in a city park down in South Sioux City that is open year round and has electricity, had electricity for us to use. So that was um, something you have to kind of look for those. They're few and far between and plan your drive accordingly. So you can be at those places at night. Oh, the, uh, the other thing that we did this year that was a little bit different, I'm, I'm looking down at a couple of notes I made here, is we took along um, more frozen food than we have before. We don't have a huge freezer, but uh, it, it's at pretty 
adequate and we were able to really get a lot in there. We took along some of the meat that we have from the freezer here, quite a bit of vegetables that are our green beans and yellow beans and carrots and oh, uh, corn, sweet corn that we get from here at home. So um, that was nice to have that all along. I also do some cooking ahead of time and make big batches of um, beef stew for one and chili and uh, chicken pot pies and tater tot hot dish. And we freeze those into small containers that are either big enough for the two of us or single serving size and freeze those and we put them into um, vacuum sealed bags. We got one of those this year and that helped, um, we kind of feel like that helps maintain their texture and quality a little bit longer. So the other thing that we always encounter too it, when leaving here in the winter is just the hassle of getting stuff out and packed into the trailer. We carry boxes and bins out there, but it's like tromping through the snow and then I, we try to take off our boots in the trailer, but the floor is cold because we don't have it fully heated. And uh, then you have to put your back boots back on and go get another load. It doesn't sound like much now, but I hate to be complaining about that. But getting things loaded up is uh, more difficult in the winter. Also, just getting the trailer moving is more difficult in the winter, winter because it does get to be kind of frozen to the ground. And uh, Bob had to use four-wheel drive to even get it to move and then head it on down the driveway. So that's a different experience. We also lucked out this year that the roads that we were traveling through Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska were all in pretty good shape. We didn't have like problems with fresh snow or ice storms or anything like that. So we're very thankful for that. We did go to some new states this year. We keep a small map. Let me show it to you. So this is a, a map of adhesive stickers of the United States. And we put stickers on the map when, uh, when we have visited a state and, and camped in the state. So this year we added Arizona to the list and New Mexico. Um, Mississippi and Alabama, Tennessee and Illinois. Those were new for us. Then we have another map. <laughs> we like maps. I like maps of national parks. I'll show you that one. It's in a bigger format and it is a scratch off. So all of these gold dots are national parks to be visited. And when we've been there, you can scratch it off and it's a green tree underneath. So we did add some more to that. I'll put some links in the description for resources for those maps if you're interested. Um, the national parks um, that we scratch off on the map are ones that we have visited. We may not have stayed there. We had to make up our own rules for that. So we decided to do that. There are places that we have visited. And the ones we added this year uh, were the Suaro National Park, Carlsbad Caverns down in uh, New Mexico, Guadalupe, which is a small park down in Texas, not too far from Carlsbad Caverns, and then the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, that was, we went in, we tried to go in through the Tennessee side through Gatlinburg. Um, we were gonna visit one day drove over to Gat Gatlinburg. It was so crowded and tra traffic was stop and go. And we honestly went to Gatlinburg so I could go to a yarn shop there. So we didn't go, stay in the line long enough to go into the national park that way, but I did get some yarn. And <clears throat> then another day we went around and went in the south side of the national park through um, North Carolina and uh, it was Cherokee. Now Cherokee was the name of the town down there that we entered, went through to get to the entrance. And that was not stop and go traffic at all. That was very pleasant. And there were still a lot of people in and around the visitor center, but it was not overcrowded. We could find parking and everything just fine. So those were our new experiences for the year. And we like, kind of like to keep a tally of those. So we have some goals. 
One thing that we did that was real different this year for us was we stayed in one place for a whole month with our trailer. Now, and that was in Yuma, Arizona. We had never been there before, but our friends and neighbor, uh, golf, golfing buddies up here, um, go down there every year. They have a permanent place there and they had suggested we might like to go there because their weather is usually pretty good. And uh, we took them up on that idea and ended up um, staying there for a month. I was, we were both a little bit leery about booking a whole month because um, We'd never stayed in an RV, a large RV park and with like a retirement park before and we thought maybe we'll hate it, but we didn't hate it. It worked out just fine. We enjoyed ourselves very much and we were glad we had four weeks of um, nice weather and friends nearby to um, help us find places to go, grocery stores to use, take us on a few little um, side trips. Um, we didn't get to do everything because of COVID. We, um, Arvid would have liked to go over the border into Mexico with us because he has a place where he gets bacon wrapped shrimp that are grilled that he says are wonderful. Uh, but we'll have to do that another time. We, we made our own on the grill instead. So that was a, a good experience. We were right, way down in the, Yuma is in the far western corner, of, uh, southwestern corner of the state. Uh, very um, dry there. However, it's a big agricultural area for produce. A lot of the produce that you get comes from there. There are lettuce fields and all kinds of vegetables all around there. And uh, it is windier there, but uh, we enjoyed it nonetheless. Sometimes you had to set up things a little bit different because of the wind, but um, it was roomy. It wasn't overcrowded. Folks were very nice to us. Bob could golf. We were, um, a golf course is built into the resort. So that was all very enjoyable. We had our bikes to ride around. We got to know the town a little bit and uh, it, we would go back there for a while. It was right on the edge of California. The border runs up to California and Mexico, right where we were. Uh, so if you're looking on a map, uh, in that little corner where the states all merge together there. Uh, that's where we were staying. Could see it from, see those two, the state and the country from the spot we were camped in. So then we used the rest of our time, um, another month approximately in different parks in Arizona, state parks uh, and local parks, uh, city parks, that sort of thing and found some really great ones. We were lucky to get spots in some of them for as long as we did because they are noted to be some of the best campgrounds around. One is, well, this place we stayed in Yuma is called Cocopa. And then we stayed in, oh gosh, I, the name for it slips my mind right now. Oh, the um, Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. That doesn't qualify as a national park, but it's a, it was a great park. We stayed there for a, um, a week and uh, I enjoyed that a lot. It was pretty out in the boonies near the town of Huai, Arizona and the town of Ajo, uh, Arizona. So those, those are fun places to, I've heard about them and we got to visit them. And we drove on eastward um, during the last part of our first part of March. We headed north and east and uh, ended up getting up to Tennessee where we did um, some volunteer work in a state park there. Enjoyed that quite a lot too. It was wonderful springtime weather there. We were also in North Carolina for about a week. So everything was in bloom. The trees were all blossoming. And so we feel now like we're getting ready for the second spring of the year because everything is gonna be blooming here before too long as well. So that's been kind of fun. Our, um, it's always kind of interesting too, when we come back home, our um, re-entry into this life in living in our house uh, is a little bit different every year. Um, this year, it just seems like the house is a lot bigger. Um, we have so much more room here, but we also have a lot more stuff here that I wish we didn't have all this stuff. And there's more work to be done around here, maintenance and housekeeping and cleaning up and um, new projects to work on. And, and 
there's never never ending list of stuff that we need to do when we're at home. Uh, so carving out some downtime now is more important. When we were traveling for three months, um, getting downtime was much easier to do. But we're sure enjoying being back home and we're ready for um, a good summer season. Hopefully um, you'll have a good summer as well and uh, I'll be back with some more updates whenever I can and I, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.